So welcome to my channel and today I have with me this ESP01 Wi-Fi module and I'm going to show you how to program this. It is built around this system on chip which is made by Espressif. It has got one antenna so that it can connect to the Wi-Fi. It has got eight pins. So first thing you will notice that if you want to make circuit using this ESP module on breadboard, you notice that it is not breadboard friendly. It doesn't fit on the breadboard like it should like ICs do but this module if you want to fix it on breadboard you have to make something like this so this is a female to male connector pins so you have to cut it four pins and like this two pieces you have to stick it together and at the end you have to solder some breadboard wires and this will sit on the top of this like this and now you have this connector which is easily connected to the breadboard I will make the connections so as I told you this is a ground so it will go to the ground and yes from where we are getting our supply from our laptop com port so this will go to the com port 3.3 volts will be given to VCC and ground will be given to the ground so these two jumpers I have used, so this uh, bottom ground is given to top ground, plus is given to plus. Okay. And as I told you, these two pins are shorted, which is that's why I've colored them red. The chip enable and VCC. So these two pins are given to 3.3 .3 volts. Okay. Now the reset pin has to be given to, this is a reset pin, through a push button, connect one push button to the ground. So this is a GPIO 0, okay this one, this is GPIO 0, right next to 20. And this has to be given to ground, but only for the programming. Okay. After that, we have to remove this. Okay. And this is GPIO 0, which I will give it through a resistor to this LED. That's all. Now let's connect it to, yes, now remaining RX and TX. So this was was rx right so here you can see wait uh, yes so this rxd of cp2102 will go to tx tx is here and this rx will go to tx will go to rx like this so our connection is done okay so now let's program this let's connect this to our com port for our laptop so, so i've connected to my laptop's com port and you can see that the gpio2 is high at the start and this red light is glowing on the esp module that means it's powered on so now let's open the arduino ide and type the code so when you open the arduino ide first thing you have to do is to go to tools you have to select the board which you are using in my case it's node mcu 0.9 esp 12 module so this board will come only when you have installed the esp8266 boards so you have to go to board manager you have to type esp8266 here and you have to install all these boards once it's installed then only it will appear in the board section okay so you go to tools and you select the, this board node mc0.9 esp12 module once that's done you will connect this to the com port and you will see that it's showing node mcu on com5 in my case 
so it automatically detects the port and it will show at the bottom that node mcu 0.9 is between module and com5 if it doesn't show this that means there is some problem the board is not connected or the uart bridge is faulty so if the so to check the problem all you can do is you can do go to device manager okay so you go to device manager here you can see in the port section in the ports you can see silicon labs cp2102 usb to uart on com5 so if you don't see this that means you know that there is a problem here and this is all right so in my case the uart bridge is okay so you can close this now you are free to upload the code i have written a simple code to blink the led as you know that i have declared int led is equal to 2 pin more led output then this is a code to blink the led and i'll hit the upload button and as you know arduino first compiles a sketch so it's compiling so once the compiling is done it will show connecting And as soon as you see this connecting, what you do, you hit the reset button here, okay, and it should start uploading writing. So the green progress bar as it shows in Arduino, it doesn't show here in ESP modules case, you will see this percentage writing on this address. And once it's hundred percent, it will show leaving hard re resetting via reset pin. And all you have to do is, uh, you have to remove this programming mode, you have to remove this wire from GPIO zero, and you have to reset it. You can see that the LED is blinking on the GPIO port pin two. GPIO pin two. So yes, this is how the program is uploaded from Arduino to ESP module. In the next video we will see how to control this LED using Blink application and what are the alternate methods of controlling the LED using our website or application so that it will really be a IoT project. So yes stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and we'll see that in the next video.